Hey guys, Tyler Hooks here with Techno RC, and we have the TKR 9268B and 9269B shock towers for the MB48 2.0 and the EB48 2.0. These are the new buggy shock tires everybody's been excited about. A um, couple of major differences with these. These shock towers have half holes um, for your mounting locations for the shock. Um, so we got rid of uh, basically the outermost holes on the front and the rear. We gave you half holes in between so you can be a little bit more precise with your shock angle when leaning it in or out. Um, you don't have to make a huge, you know, one complete hole step. Now you can go in the middle. Um, and in a lot of instances where we don't feel like we want to jump a hole, uh, a complete hole, it's nice to have that in-between option. Um, the nice thing on the front and rear towers, too, is that both have a longer camber link option. So you can run a longer front camber link or a longer rear camber link or both if you would like. Um, I'm going to talk about that a little bit more when I compare them to the original front and rear towers, which I'll do later on in the video for you guys to see. And also on the rear tower, a couple of different things. You can run the long or short shock options with the same tower. Um, you don't have to buy um, two different towers to uh, swap them back and forth, basically, to, to run the different shocks. Now it's all in one. So if you have two different sets of shocks built up, you can just throw them on there. You don't have to change anything on the tower wise. Just change, you know, where your standoff's at and put the shock on and you're good to go. The other thing is that you can raise the wing mount to two different locations. Um, we like to run it a lot of in a lot of situations in the middle, um, still with the tall um, wing mount, but we run it in the middle location. That seems to be the way to go. But now you have three different places you can put it, not just one. Um, and those are the major differences. Like I said, I'm going to compare the two towers, the geometries of the two towers together so you can kind of see what they look like. But that's an overview of the two different towers, and we're pretty excited about it. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to move into showing you guys what they look like together. All right, guys, so I am holding up the new tower, and right behind it is the carbon fiber tower, which is the same geometry as the original. Um, basically, it's just a, obviously it's a different color, so it's a little bit easier to see the changes. Um, up here on the top, you can see that the outside hole now is the middle hole on the original tower, then there's a half hole, and then the inside hole, and then another half hole. Um, and then on the bottom, you have basically the original holes. Um, these are actually one mil shorter or one mil, one, makes for a one mil longer camera link from the stock. And then you have uh, another five millimeters further in. So now you've got two rows on the bottom. So those are the major differences for the front tower. All right, guys, so now we've got the rear tower. And on the original rear tower, we had four holes uh, for shock mounting locations. Now we've got five. So we start with a half hole, then the original inside hole, and then a half hole, and then the original second hole, and then a half hole, and the original third hole. So you got rid of the outside hole, um, and we have those half holes in between. And then you can see where these two screws are. They are in the original upper and lower locations for the wing mount. Uh, so now you've got one... Uh, quite a bit further up and then one that's kind of like splits the difference that's even further up. We typically use this one in the middle and then you have even more adjustability if you want to keep going further. And then here on the bottom there's four holes instead of five and then you have three on the inside. So some of us have been playing with a longer link so now you have that option and then you've got four instead of five on the outside because we typically never went as high as the upper hole anyway. Um, so we just kind of got rid of that made it a little bit cleaner, um, got rid of some of the lines. And those are all the changes on the rear tower. All right, so thank you guys for watching. Um, obviously, like I said, we're really excited about these towers. We're really excited about pretty much everything that we release. Um, we've got some some cool stuff going on for 2022. We're excited to, to get back out racing, um, You know, hit some of the bigger events. So as always, if you have any questions or would like to see something that you're not seeing from us, Feel free to hit us up on our social media accounts or uh, go to the contact us form on the website at technorc.com and we will get back to you as quickly as we can. And we look forward to seeing you uh, at the races. Thank you.